Good afternoon, guys. My name is Ryan Singh, a graduate and senior major in a management information system. I'm from Guyana, South America. On behalf of the Dean of Student Office, I would like to welcome you to the 2019 Student Life Awards. The Student Life Awards are sponsored by the Department of Students Affairs to celebrate an out of the classrooms accomplishment made by individuals, individual students and registered student organizations. While the contributions of these student organizations enhance their leadership skills, all effort made a tremendous impact within the Francis Main campus community. Today is our opportunity to pause and say, great job, everyone. I will now turn the program over to the Student Life Award MC, Kevin Shipp, Student Life Specialist for Student Development. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us on this wonderful occasion. Our first category of the evening will be Student Service Awards and Recognitions. In this category, we will recognize an organization for their outstanding student involvement, as well as the Student Government Association. We will also announce the winners of the 2019 SGA Homecoming Parade. Author John Gordon once said, there is nothing more powerful than a humble person with a servant's heart and a warrior's spirit who is driven by a bigger purpose. Everyone being recognized in this category fully embodies this statement and we are proud that they are members of our Patriot family. I would like to invite Dr. Daphne Carter McCants, Assistant VP for Student Affairs, and Alex McGill, Student Life Specialist for Student Engagement to the stage. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. As you might hear repeatedly today, the students coming before you are all exceptional leaders, and it is an honor and a privilege for us to celebrate the accomplishments of our Campus Activities Board. CAB spends countless hours engaging our students with educational, entertaining, and exciting programming opportunities. They are leaders responsible for FMU's Got Talent, Grill After Dark, FMU's Cultural Programming Series, the first annual Spring Formal, and a host of other campus-wide experiences. The board is made up of students with a diverse range of perspectives. The application process is currently open and those seeking membership will be invited to participate in an interview in early fall. For more information on how to get involved with CAB, please see any current board member. Several of our members will be graduating this spring and those members will be honored today with a graduation stole to commemorate their accomplishments within this very distinguished organization. As your name is called, please stand and proceed by walking to the podium to receive your awards. We would like to ask all CAP members to remain at the front for a group photo. Caroline Shelley, Executive Chair. Eric Squarrell, Jr., Vice Chair. Maitland Weaver, Weekend Programs Chair. <laughs> Tariq Boatwright. <laughs> Brianna Lewis. <laughs> Faith Oglesby. Adrian Pickney. <laughs> Julia Sierra. <laughs> Joshua Smith. <laughs> and Kyra Wilson. We are delighted to have one student with us today that has contributed much to the Campus Activities Board. For her efforts, we are proud to recognize Callie McGill as an honorary board member for the 2018-2019 academic year.
You guys may be seated at this time. This year's CAB members collectively decided to provide awards in the following categories to celebrate the accomplishments of fellow team members. The most, the most creative award, this award is for someone who has really gone above and beyond and thinking outside the box and coming up with unique programming ideas. The most helpful award, this is for someone who is always down to volunteer, to be there, to be at an event, to help clean up, to help set up. And then the constant contributor award, this is for someone who's just willing to listen, to be a part of CAB, and to just help make the organization better. So the 2019 Most Creative Award is proudly presented to Miss Waitlin Weaver. The 2019 Most Helpful Award is proudly presented to Mr. Adrian Pickney. <laughs> and the 2019 Constant Contributor Award is proudly presented to Miss Julia Sierra. The last CAB award presented this afternoon goes to an extraordinary student leader that has gone above and beyond in numerous ways. She holds exceptional management qualities, is punctual, well organized, and carries strong leadership characteristics, including dependability and professionalism. She values teamwork and works hard to promote positive student programming opportunities at FMU. Please join me in recognizing Ms. Caroline Shelley for the 2019 Outstanding Leadership Award. Will Connor Graham, Student Life President, please come up. Thank you, thank you. Um, first thing I would like to do is recognize the 2018-2019 SGA Senate for their service this year. Because of their hard work, dedication, and participation, we were able to have many successful events, including SGA Week, which we collaborated with other student organizations to create care packages for victims of Hurricane Florence, we hosted a higher education symposium in which we brought Senator Vincent Shaheen in to discuss the Opportunity Act of 2018. We also held several events during homecoming week, including Blast from the Past, the Homecoming Bonfire, and the Homecoming Parade. Not only that, we were able to help other student organizations by providing monetary assistance for their events. Through social media, SGA was able to communicate with students not just about things per uh, pertaining to SGA, but all events on campus. The Senate and executive officers have stayed focused on completing the tasks that were at hand and were expected. I'm truly proud to have been able to work with each and every one of you and everyone, honestly, in student organizations and um, our faculty and staff. You all have shown diligence, passion, and true excitement and love for your university. If you are a senator or an executive officer, please stand to be recognized. <laughs> I will now like to call the rest of the SGA Executive Board to present the Homecoming Parade Awards. Gabriel Hudson, Kendria Mason, and Precious McLaughlin. We would like to present the winners of the Student Government Association Homecoming Parade for 2019. Kendria? This year's theme was past, present, and future, and the theme was executed extraordinarily. We had over 15 entries in the parade with organizations spanning many different organization departments and interests. 
There were four categories for this year's judging. Best individual theme, most creative, best school spirit, and best overall. Please join me in congratulating the winner for best individual theme. Pre-Vet Club with their prehistoric theme. <laughs> The winner of most creative was Pre-Vet Club, which involved decorations <laughs> that evidently took much time, thought, and resources. The winner of the best spirit was the math club, who continued to upkeep school spirit and morale throughout the school year. And lastly, before you guys sit down, <laughs> best overall winner was Prevet Club. <laughs> I mean, they had T-Rex costumes. And we would like to congratulate all of the winners and thank all who participated in this year's parade and played a part in the success of the homecoming parade and homecoming in general. On behalf of the Student Government Association, we thank you. Before we get to the next award category, I'd like to take a minute and recognize some individuals for their exemplary service efforts this spring during our Greek Week service event. When I call your name, please stand and be recognized. From Alpha Delta Pi, Kaylee Babb. From Alpha Kappa Alpha, Moesha Young, Kristen Bolas. Natasha Young and Tierra Sanders. From Kappa Alpha, Christian Owens, Cullen Baxley, James Rabin, Joshua Weaver, Tyler Moore, and Kenneth Woodbury. From Tau Kappa Epsilon, Matthew Vinson, Ladarius Dunlap, Ben Rivers, and Matthew Mendelson. I would also like to thank, uh, recognize Megan Wilhelm for her efforts in that event. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin once said, well done is, what are, is better than well said. And I would like to say to the 17 of you, well done. <laughs> Tell me and I forget, teach me and I may remember. Involve me and I learn. This, another quote by Benjamin Franklin, says it all and encompasses our next category's winners. I would like to inv invite your Dean of Students, Latasha Brand, to the stage to announce the 2019 Pride of the Patriot Award winners. The Pride of the Patriot Award is given each year to recognize students who are not only academically successful, but who also give generously of their time to student activities and organizations. This is the individual who shows up to meetings, help organize events, comes to activities on time, stays late when necessary, and just tends to get the job done. This award is to recognize seniors, however, outstanding juniors are considered also. As I call your name, recipients, please come forward to receive your award, but remain on stage while I highlight all of your wonderful campus contributions. Our first recipient is Mr. Tyreek Boltwright. Tariq is a graduating senior double majoring in computer science and mathematics from Dillon, South Carolina. Since arriving at FMU, he has been on both the dean's list and president's list. He has also served as a member of the NAACP, vice president, American Chemical Society, Association of Com Computing Machinery, 
math club, resident student association, resident assistant, UPB, marketing and promotions chair, leadership and service award recipient, Omicron Delta Kappa Leadership Honor Society, Gamma Sigma Upsilon Chemistry Honor Society, orientation leader, Kappa Mu Epsilon Mathematics Honor Society, Upsilon Pi Epsilon Com Computer Science Honor Society. Tariq is currently Campus Activities Board Member, Resident Assistant, Orientation Leader, Team Leader, Patriot Mentor, ACS Technology Scholarship Recipient, Research with Wilskamako, you say that, Watsamako uh, bi uh, Biological Station <laughs> Biomonitoring System. Ladies and gentlemen, Tyreek. <laughs> Our next recipient is Gabriel Hudson. <laughs> Gabe is a graduating senior majoring in biology from Sumter, South Carolina. Since arriving at FMU, he has been on the president's list. He has served as an FMU diplomat member, FMU honors, FMU biology club treasurer, resident assistant, honor student advisory council vice president, RA of the Year, SGA Senator, Gamma Sigma Upsilon Chemistry Honor Society inductee, Dr. L. Turner Research Assistant, Beta 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 Biology Honor Society inductee, Omicron Delta Kappa Leadership Honor Society, Phi Kappa Phi Honor Society, Outstanding SGA Senator recipient, uh, HSA Honor Award recipient, Honors Ambassador Abroad to Ireland, Mr. Carnival, <laughs> <laughs> but wait, <laughs> Gabe is currently the 2019-20, uh, yeah, the 2018-2019 Homecoming King, lead resident assistant of DENF, FMU diplomat, biology club vice president, SGA vice president, honor student advisory council president. Dwayne P. Myers Award recipient, Intra University Programming Council member, student member of the Distinguished Faculty Selection Committee, and currently Miss Carnival. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Gabriel Hudson. <laughs> Kendria Mason. Kendria is a senior majoring in secondary education, English education from Mullen, South Carolina. Since arriving at FMU, she has been on the Dean's List. She has also served on Habitat for Humanity, Secretary, BCM, Microaggressions Club, Psychology Club, Secretary and Treasurer, FMU Diplomat, Leadership FMU Graduate, Mult Multicultural Advisory Board, Snow Island uh, Literary Review, uh, student Leadership Planning Committee Conference um, Moderator, S South Carolina Student Legislator, FMU Student Leadership uh, di Conference Director, Resident Student, uh, Resident student Assistant, SGA Senator, SGA Appropriate Appropriations and Finance Chair, Sigma Tau Delta Honor Society, FMU Diplomat Chair of Touring, Orientation Leader, and Office and Office Assistant, Student Leadership Case Study Competition Second Place Winner, President's Council. Kendria is currently SGA Secretary, Head Orientation Leader for Summer 2018, Student Leadership Case Study Competition Planning Committee Vice Chair, F Freshman Focus Program Assistant, Center of Excellence Research First Place Contest Winner, and SGA President-Elect for 2019-2020. Our next recipient is Ms. Precious McLaughlin. <laughs> Precious is a graduating senior majoring in political science from Florence, South Carolina. Since arriving at FMU, she has been a member of NAACP, Political Actions Chair, College Democrats, 
president, FMU diplomats, FMU honors, leadership FMU graduate, orientation leader, Washington semester participant, South Carolina student legislator, statewide judiciary chair, Phi Sigma Alpha Political Science Honor Society, Omicron Delta Kappa Leadership Honor Society, Cole Public Service Award recipient, Beyond Mother Emanuel and the Confederate Flag Essay Contest winner, Leadership Case Study Student Competition Second Place winner, Research Presenter at Midwest Political Science Association Conference in Chicago, Illinois, Does Solitary Confinement Have an Adverse Effect on Recidivism? Presses is currently NAACP President, College Democrats Vice President, SGA Treasurer, SCSL Vice Chair, Resident Assistant, Phi Kappa Phi, and Honors Ambassador Abroad, England. Precious McGraw. Okay, I believe our next recipient may not be here due to a conflict in her schedule, but I'm going to present her anyway. Anna Patton. She had a conflict. Uh, Anna is a graduating senior majoring in secondary English education from Florence, South Carolina. Since arriving at FMU, she has been on the President's List, Life Scholarship Recipient, Palmetto Fellow Scholarship Recipient, Academic Distinction Scholarship Recipient. She has also been a member of FMU Honors, FMU Honors, FMU Ambassador to Italy, FMU Teaching Fellows, Core for Collins Fundraiser Coordinator, Omicron Delta Kappa, Patriot Mentor, FMU Writing Teaching Assistant, FMU The Odyssey Editor-in-Chief, Dr. Love and Dr. Nelson, Hannah Pampico Middle, Middle School Writing Tutor, Pastries with Professors, Students, Coordinator for English, Modern Language, and Philosophy event, FMU Honors Vice President, FMU Teaching Fellows, Recruitment Committee Chair, Patriot Mentor, and is currently FMU Ambassador to Luxembourg, France, Germany, and Belgium, Take Back the Night Student Coordinator, Snow Island Review Communications Editor. Anna. And our final recipient for the evening is Jason Pack. Jason is a graduating senior majoring in history from Paxville, South Carolina. Since arriving at FMU, he has been a member of the Patriot Players, Talcatna, FMU Theater Play Participants, Snow Island Review staff member and contributing author, Poetry Editor, Poetry Slam Coordinator, FMU Honors, Help for Kids Volunteer, Patriot Players Under the Umbrella Award recipient, Phi Alpha Theta, National Conference Presenter, Regional Conference Presenter, National History Day Judge, President's Bowl Team Captain, FMU Democrats Vice President and Treasurer, Jason is currently Phi Alpha Theta President, Fundraising Coordinator, Snow Island Review Editor-in-Chief, National Day on Writing Table Coordinator, and selected to serve as a, mem a student member of the Distinguished Faculty Committee and History Department intern. Jason. Now we will recognize our organizational accomplishments. There is a proverb that states, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Students who join organizations may do so to enhance their leadership skills, organizational skills, networking skills, and a list of many other things. However, each student puts aside their individual wants for the collective good of the organization. But many find along the way that they still sharpen tools in their individual skills tool belt while having lots of fun doing so. I now invite my colleagues Derek Young to present the Campus Recreation Awards, Dr. Daphne Carter McCants to present the Greek Life Awards, Alex McGill to present the Student Organization and Volunteer Advisor of the Year Awards, and David Wolf to present the Residence Life Award. Derek, please come up. Good afternoon. 
My name is Derek Young, and I'm your director of Campus Recreational Sports. And this day is one of the best and worst days of the year for me. It's one of the best because I get to reward the hard work of our students who have worked hard to get to this point. It's also one of the worst because of my public speaking. <laughs> you can laugh, that's funny. Uh, <laughs> but I'm here to present the intramural awards for 2018-2019 school year. Our mission is to enhance our student wellness, overall fitness, knowledge of good health, wellness, um, overall fitness, knowledge of good health, and to develop a positive social relationship with other students. In addition, the spirited competition throughout this year hopefully created fun and memories that will last a lifetime. We at Campus Recreation feel that intramurals and recreational sports are an essential part of the university life. And that involvement of these types of events will enhance the overall educational experience of our students. In addition, our events this year showed spirited competition. We also saw the continuation of old traditions, such as Patriot Games, which are events held during the week of homecoming. During this intramural season, we had a number of students come together as teams <coughs> to participate and show their talents, skills, demonstrate camaraderie, teamwork, and good leadership. I commend each team for their hard work and dedication to each other to the Francis Mary Intramural Program. But now that our year has come to a close, it is time to award our overall winners. This year we are giving six intramural awards and here are the categories. For the category of independent women champion, this award goes to Team Wildpats. Please come up. Right. Now it's time for the sorority as well as the overall champion for intramurals. And this award goes to team, uh, excuse me, Zeta Tau Alpha Sorority. Please come up. <laughs> and now for the men's champions. For our men independent champion, this year awards goes to Team Wildpats again. <laughs> and for the fraternity champion, as well as men's overall champion, this award goes to Team, or excuse me again, Tau Kappa Epsilon Fraternity. In conclusion, I must thank all of my referees, my scorekeepers, my photographers, as well as the competitors. I would also like to thank my intramural council. First, I would like to uh, recognize Amanda Wagner. She is our Madam Chairperson for our council. You can stand if you want. Also, we would like to recognize Amber Keefe, um, Madam Vice Chairperson, she is not here today, I don't believe, but let's please give her a hand anyway. Also, I would like to recognize our Madam Secretary, Savannah June, if she is here. I believe she's not here, but let's give her a hand. I also like to recognize our Madam Treasurer, Haley Keith, could you please stand? And I would like to also recognize our senators, Kaylee Eggert, Ladarius L.D. Dunlap, and Jason Desai. Could you please give them a hand? I also would like to thank my boss, Murray Hartzler, who has made me think outside the box to make our department grow. And in conclusion, I would like to turn this over to Dean Carter McCannis. Thank you. We're not supposed to be here.
Good afternoon again, everyone. Good afternoon. <laughs> the pillars of Greek life often include sisterhood, brotherhood, scholarship, and community service. Each component is a symbol of strength and unity within the Greek community. Each year, the Division of Student Affairs honors one social fraternity and one social sorority for academic excellence. The President's Cup is awarded to the fraternity and the sorority with the highest GPA over the span of one academic year. Calculations were taken from grades earned from spring 2018 and the fall of 2019. This year's Sorority President's Cup winner is, drum roll please, Alpha Delta Pi Sorority. Yay, they're here. And this year's Fraternity President's Cup winner is, drum roll please, Iota Phi Theta Fraternity Incorporated. the Volunteer Advisor of the Year and the Organization of the Year. So the Volunteer Advisor of the Year, this award is presented to the Volunteer Advisor of a student organization who has the most significant impact on the Francis Marion campus and the surrounding community. This award is based on overall influence of positive involvement, opportunities provided for others to be involved, and or leadership development opportunities that further advance the education of Francis Marion <coughs> students beyond the classroom. Candidates must be an on-campus advisor of a registered organization in which the organization is not part of their job description. Will the following finalists please come up to receive a certificate and be recognized before we announce a winner? Teresa McDuffie. Is that her? She is nominated by Alpha Phi Alpha. Lance Weldy, nominated by the Gender Sexuality Alliance. Sarah Kirshner, nominated by Health Occupation Students of America. And Dr. Tamantha Barbeau, nominated by the Prevet Club. And the winner is, the Volunteer Advisor of the Year is, da -da -da -da, Dr. Tamantha Barbeau from the Prevet Club. Organization of the Year. Organization of the Year is presented to a recognized student organization that has exhibited outstanding commitment to the organization's goals, excelled in program planning, offered leadership for group members, and made a positive impact on campus community. Will the following organizations please stand to be recognized as finalists? Baptist Campus Ministry, Ministries, sorry. A few of their events this year were the Welcome Back Cookout, Game Night, and God Belongs on My Campus. And then also, will Prevet Club please stand? A few of their events were the falconry demonstration and a cause near and dear to my heart that's happening next week, Pause for Paws, where you get to see puppies and kittens. And the organization of the year is Prevet Club. <laughs> Thank you everyone for being here. Uh, I am David Wolf, representing uh, Housing and Res Life, and I'm here to present uh, the RA of the Year and new RA of the Year Award. Um, 
for the RA of the year, I wanted to uh, read something that my colleague wrote for this particular person. Delante has called himself a lazy RA. If Delante Hugh is lazy, then all of us need to be a little lazier. <laughs> uh, to be clear, there is no evidence to support the claim that, that Mr. Hugh is lazy. In fact, all evidence points to the contrary. If we only look at the work Delante has done in the school year, there's more than enough evidence to justify him as the RA of the year. Between his tremendous concern for the overall housing community at FMU, exemplified by his uh, taking his uh, time to document everything, uh, malfunctioning lights, the whole bit, uh, to the quality of service he provided to every individual he contacts, Delante exudes hospitality. Delante is also conscious about the quality of his work that he thoughtfully perfected uh, a way of greeting his residents. So when he knocks, he says it a certain way. Uh, and in his words, a resident is more likely to answer the door if the person they hear on the other side of the door speaks in a melodious voice rather than a gruff drone. <laughs> we can all be sure no matter what the reason for his visit, wellness check to noise complaints, uh, you'll never hear a sweeter sounding RA coming to your door than Delante. Uh, not a week has passed this year without a friendly email or a group me message to his residents reminding them of a policy or inviting them to a campus event. And without fail, these messages <coughs> carry the same level of care and concern described above. In fact, Delante is so concerned with his delivery, he developed his own satisfaction survey and, and deployed it in his community. Uh, his example in seeking feedback in order to improve on the quality of the service he delivers has inspired our department to be more oriented to customer satisfaction. In light of all these qualities and many more, we enthousi enthusiastically named Delante Hugh FMU Housing's RA of the Year. For myself, for my colleagues, uh, these are uh, 36 tough choices we've had to make, and that's the way I feel about this year, about the RAs I've worked with. Um, everyone has put in an effort, and uh, this next award goes out to the newly hired RA, uh, the R newly hired RA of the year. Um, we, uh, when when you listen, I just want to. Prelude, uh, when you listen to the dean uh, listing off the students who were fairly decorated students and had a lot of leadership and responsibility on campus, three of those individuals were RAs. I don't know if anyone knows Meatloaf, but three out of, ba three out of five ain't bad. Um, that's a horrible joke, by the way. Don't ever repeat that. <laughs> uh, uh, even though the delivery was just horrible. So. Um, but I'm just kind of hitting on uh, the challenges that an RA faces every year. And uh, when a newly hired RA comes on board, it's extremely important to make them feel well equipped, uh, confident that they can do the job. Well, um, when this person came on board, they just took over. It, it, it was so amazing to watch because I'm thinking, but he's new and, and he doesn't really know the position all that well, but yet he's professional and does it so well. How can this be? Um, Joshua Smith is extremely knowledgeable. He's probably out of uh, the 10 people on this campus that know the most about FMU, he's one of them. He knows everything about this campus. Um, he's extremely knowledgeable, as I said, but he has that with a combined uh, work ethic like no other. Uh, now, I know there are good RAs out there. Uh, these individuals show up to staff meetings uh, on time. Uh, they don't, you don't have to ask them twice for a report or anything like that. And, and that's great. We come ac across good RAs all the time. But that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about uh, when the standard is great and he makes it look easy. That's what I'm talking about when I say Josh, uh, when Josh Smith uh, is, the newly, is the newly hired RA of the year, uh, that's what I mean is greatness is the standard instead of being good. 
Um, I don't expect most people to understand the challenges that RAs face. Um, sometimes it's overwhelming that uh, during the year what they come across. Sometimes it's emotionally intense and there's a lot to process uh, in those kinds of experiences. Josh Smith goes through it without a blink of an eye. He handles it professionally, uh, compassionately, and he's just always available to help whenever you need it. And uh, it's just really, um, it's amazing when your department relies on people to be just that. Uh, if half our staff, and this is how I'm gonna conclude because I'm sure if I kept talking, I'd put you all to sleep. But if half our staff did not show up next fall because of the extensive beautiful weather in the Bahamas. <laughs> and Josh, uh, Joshua, this is what I'm saying, Joshua would be here the first day of RA training ready to go. Uh, that's how good he is. Uh, as I said before, he's a compassionate educator. He's a leader that you can depend on and he never settles for mediocrity. Without a doubt in my mind, he bleeds FMU colors through and through with Patriot pride. Joshua, please come up and accept your award. <laughs> To use another quote from John Gordon, the best legacy you could leave is not some building that has your name on it or a piece of jewelry, but rather a world that has been impacted and touched by your presence, your joy, and your positive actions. The students about to be recognized in this category are not only great leaders, but great human beings. They strive every day to make Francis Marion a better place and the community is better off for knowing them. It is my honor to invite Teresa Ramey, Vice President for Student Affairs, to the stage to present the Leadership Awards category. As you all know, when it comes to leadership, a smile comes on my face. And I'm very excited to recognize the students that we're going to recognize this afternoon. The first one is a new one. I had to come up with something to recognize this student who showed compassion, who was always very helpful, who was always there, extremely polite. When I talk to administrators and people, other people that work here on the campus about this student, they always talk about how nice he is, how sweet he is how thoughtful he is. And I said, I've got to recognize this young man in some way. He's getting ready to graduate. I remember when he was a freshman. So what I came up with is something called civility in leadership. Because when we talk about leadership, there are a lot of things in leadership. There's compassion, there's helpfulness. But one of the things I think is very important is civility. So, I looked at this student and I said, I gotta, I gotta say something. I gotta do something regarding this student. So, Daniel Walker, come forward. <laughs> Daniel is the type of student who goes to a lot of different events that he's not even a member of. Daniel's the type of person that when that organization is picking up chairs, don't you get it? Daniel's the type of student that when that organization is picking up chairs, he picks up a chair. Mm -hmm. Daniel's the type of person who wants to make sure that every time there's a program that he's a part of, he stops by my office and he says, what do you want me to wear today? <laughs> I'm thinking about wearing this and this. Is this, is this appropriate? Is this, a, is, is, is this professional enough? And I said, yes, Dan. Daniel did a short little video about servant leadership. And it, I mean, it was just him and the camera. And he had more insight 
about servant leadership than I have seen in a lot of articles. So I just want to recognize you, Daniel. I want to recognize you for your sweet spirit, your civility, and your ability to really, you make the bar a little higher when it comes to relating to other people and showing that you care. Right. Thank you. Thank you. The next award is from our leadership case study competition. When we first started doing the leadership case study competition, it was attached to our student leadership conference. And I remember thinking to myself, can our undergraduate students do this? Of course they can do this. Can they actually take a scenario that has to do with leadership and break it down and answer the questions and work as a team? Of course they can. And that's what they've been able to do. We had our competition on Thursday, and the winning team was AMA of FMU. I want you all to come down and get your awards. So they knew they won, but they actually had their own in individual awards. Come on down. case study had to, had to look at leadership within the college community when, when social media is so high of an influence. And they answered it very well. And though they're, they're being awarded, I want to also say that Todd Kappa Epsilon, stand up. You all did a great job. Yes, you did. <laughs> Thank you all very, very much for your thoughtfulness and really looking at a case scenario that's re very relevant to our students today. And they were also able to incorporate the university resources. So thank you so very much. The last category has to do with an award that is purely a student affairs award and it is called the Leadership Legacy. The Leadership Legacy Award is given to students who have dedicated, first of all, they have to be graduating, and it goes to students who have dedicated at least three or more years to leadership on campus, be it in their positions or in, or in student organizations or other things that, that they do on campus. The three, you, you've already <laughs> seen them this, this evening, and yeah, they've given me a whole list of things that they've done, and I have it. But I think it's more important to, for me to talk about each one of you personally. I'm gonna start with you, Gabe. <laughs> if you've ever come to an SGA meeting and watched this, this individual in motion, I tell you, he knows Robert's rules better than anyone I've ever known. He, Makes a, he, he makes a point to make sure that each one of those senators understands the procedures. He, un, he makes sure that it goes well according to the Constitution. But there's that other side of him. That, that other side where he is free to be who he is. He is free to laugh. He is free to accept other students. And that is evident in the job that he does as a resident assistant. You've already heard a lot about him already when he got the other award. Mm -hmm. But I want you to know that the university's going to miss you. Mm -hmm. They're, we're going to miss your leadership, and we're going to miss how you actively contribute to the university. So this is our first recipient for, for the leadership legacy. <laughs> Second one is precious. I know you're probably saying you didn't put anything in their hands. They're going to get it at the SGA banquet tomorrow. <laughs> but I want to recognize it. Precious first met her through Leadership FMU. And she has continued to be the bubbly person that she's always been being involved. She, is, she always makes me laugh. She always looks at possibilities. 
she's not she's not that person that's always in the box. Okay, you know how some people they're restrained by their box. She always thinks outside of the box. I'm very proud of her. The work that she's done with NAACP. I am very proud of of her sense of awareness and her compassion for other people. And she's also a resident assistant. Now you've heard already this 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 evening about this afternoon, late afternoon, about the RA job. So I've got a resident assistant here in Gabe. I've got a resident assistant here in Precious. And yet they still are able to serve in the Student Government Association. I just want to thank you for your service. Connor, Connor, Connor. This young lady, another resident assistant. <laughs> our current SGA president. I remember meeting meeting her, and I think what what first got to my ear about her was her voice and that laugh. Mm -hmm. I just love to hear her voice and that laugh. And I heard her in the other room, and I came out and I met this bubbly young lady who is just <laughs> you know, and she's just going, and I'm thinking. Recognize this is a little bit like me too. So we got to talk, and we're both. <laughs> and um, so it's it's funny when you find someone that is similar to you. And she has continued to lead in so many different areas. Um, again, a resident assistant, and also with biology, also as as a member of our our Title IX committee, and four years of SGA. Not two, not one, but four years of dedication to Student Government Association. She has represented us well with other SGA presidents in Columbia. And what I like about Connor is she's one that, you know, when you can consult with someone, you know, when you have a student that you can really consult with. And if there's a snafu or something, there's something going on, I say, Connor, what do you think? What do you think? And she says, well, VP Rainey, we can look at it two ways. We can look at it this way, and she'll have the whole thing out this way. I'm like, okay. And we can look at it this way. I'm like, okay. And I said, what do you want to do? And then it comes out, and it clicks with me. And I said, that's what we're doing. And then we break off from each other, and we take care of whatever it is. That's the type of partnership that you like to have with your SGA president. And that's what I have with I'm not going to talk about all the funny things we've had in the past few days. <laughs> we send each other text messages with, you know, the, the, the little smiley face with the crying and laughing. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> she's really cracking me up over, over something uh, uh, recently. But I just want to say, Connor, we are, we are so, so much. I mean, all three of you. We are very, we're going to miss you a lot in student affairs because you mean a lot to us. Now, of course, there's another person part of the team. There's Miss Mason. We'll get to Miss Mason next year. <laughs> we got a lot for Miss Mason. But I just want to thank all three of you because you're not only getting the leadership legacy individually, you're also getting it for the team that you all have formed regarding SGA that is taking it to a whole nother level. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. Before we close out this award ceremony, please enjoy this short video.
On behalf of the Dean of Students Office, I would like to thank our students and organizations for the positive impact you've made to enhance the collegiate experience here at Francis Marion. To our graduating seniors, we hate to see you leave, but understand it is time for you to begin a new chapter in your storybook of life. I encourage you to use all the skills you've mastered at FMU to conquer every dream and adventure ahead of you. To our returning students, we are excited to continue this leadership journey with you back in the fall. Advisors, do not forget to rest and rejuvenate because there is a wave of new students coming in the fall that will be looking for your wisdom and advice. To the parents, thank you for sharing your students with us. We have watched your babies grow into amazing men and women. Lastly, I want to give thanks to Dr. Carter and Dr. King and the entire senior staff here at Francis Marion. Without your support, none of this would be possible. On behalf of my colleagues and myself, thank you for making every day of the 2018-2019 academic year a cherished gift simply by being in your presence. Today is truly the reason why the best student experience is the Patriot Experience. I want to leave you all with a quote from Ronnie Oldham. Excellence is the result of caring more than others think is wise, risking more than others think is safe, dreaming more than others think is practical, and expecting more than others think is possible. You are all excellent, so as you leave for this summer or head towards future endeavors, please do not be afraid to care more, risk more, dream more, and expect more. On behalf of the Division of Student Affairs, thank you for coming and have an excellent day.